Okay, so here's how you could animate the album cover of your next client. So first, open up Photoshop with your picture ready. Now just select these stickers right there and you're gonna have to delete them. Once they are selected, click on Generative Fill and just click on Generate. Now you'll have something clean like this and just pick the Generative Fill layer and just merge it down and now you got a clean slate. The second step is simply selecting and separating all of the parts that you wanna animate. For example, I wanna animate the arm, so I'm gonna select the arm. Once that is selected, just click on Ctrl C to copy it and click on Generative Fill to delete it. You can merge the Generative Fill layer with the normal layer as usual. Now click on Ctrl V to pop the arm back and just place it at its position. Now what you're going to do is simply hide the original layer, polish your arm layer a little bit more. This is clear enough, you can unhide the under layer. And as you can see, the arm has a shadow casted on the hoodie. So what you can do when you have something similar to that, hide the arm and simply select the shadow right there. Delete it. What you're going to do with the arm is just copy and paste it right there. Now what you're going to do is simply transform it as the shadow. Now you're going to have to put it all black. So make a selection right there. Click on this selection tool right there. Right click, invert, pick the brush tool. And just put it black. So what you're going to do is just put the shadow under the right arm and just put the opacity down. Also put a little large and blur. And just make sure to adjust it. Here we go. And you can do the same for all of the other parts that you want to animate. For example, I'm going to animate the other arm, the head, the chain, and these eyes. So I'm going to separate all of these separate elements. Here, as you can see, I'm done separating all of the elements that I want to animate. They are all here. I got the head, chain, the two arms, and the eyes. We're going to make them blink. And I'm going to import this whole project file into After Effects to animate them. Now, once that you're in After Effects, what you're going to do is open a new project. Click on new composition and just make sure that width and the height is the same as your picture. As you can see, you can do that. Click on OK. Now what you're going to do is go on your folders and search for your PS file. Just drag and drop it. And put it on the timeline. Now just double click on it and you'll see all your different layers. And now you can have fun and actually animate the album cover. So what we're going to do first is simply fix all of the in-court points to have a good rotation while animating. So what I mean by that is just some, for example, if I want to take the right arm and I want to rotate it, what you're going to do is simply go there and rotate it. But as you can see, it's not rotating like an arm is supposed to rotate. So to fix that, what you're going to do is simply click on that anchor point. And what you're going to do is simply select your layer and drag the anchor point on the elbow where the rotation is supposed to start from. And now, as you can see, it's rotating like a norm, but it's still not perfect. So what you can do is just adjust it a little bit until you got something that you like. Okay, so I think this is pretty decent. And now you can start animating them with your keyframes. So I'm going to start with the right arm. Simply just go ahead and click on that clock right there for rotation. Then you can start doing your rotations. I'm going to start like this. And then I'm going to do this. So just simply select all of these keyframes and I'm going to click on F9 to smooth it all. And then I'm going to copy these keyframes with Ctrl C. And I'm going to just go a little bit over uh, there and click on Ctrl V. And if you want your animation to go a little bit faster, just put your keyframe closer to each other. Like so. I'll just do this entire timeline. And as you can see, and he's moving all right, but not following. So what you can do is simply go ahead and copy these keyframes, select the shadow, but simply make sure that the anchor point of the shadow is at the right position, like that. And now just copy these keyframes. So now you got a following motion. It was as simple as that. But there's a little problem because the shadow is getting out of Pierre's body. So what you can do, so what you can do to fix this is simply go ahead and right click right there, click on new, click on shape layer. So what you're going to do is simply draw a shape in the inside of the of the body like this. And this shape will uh, work as a limitation. 
So it's, the shadow will not go outside of this uh, of this shape. This this is how it basically works. So once you did that, what you're gonna do is simply select the shape layer and the shadow layer. Then you're gonna have to pre-comp both of them. Click on OK. So what you're gonna do is simply enter inside of the composition. And now what you're gonna do is simply play around with the settings. But if you don't see these settings, just click on toggle switch like this and you'll be able to see it. Now click on no mod of the shadow and click on shape layer. And now if we go back, the shadow will not go outside of the of the shirt. And now just to, to add a little more spice, I'm gonna just put a little bit of classic color burn to add this real shadow effect. So now you can just unhide the real arm and nice little animation right there. You can, you, and you can do the same for all of the other parts of the character. So now I'm just gonna animate the arm, the head, and the eyes of the. Okay, so now I just finished in the head and both of the arms. So what I'm gonna do now is simply a chain. So to animate the chain, what you're gonna have to do is simply select the chain layer and select this pin tool. So what you're gonna do now is put some pin at the extremity of the chain and one in the middle of the chain. So now what you're gonna have to do is simply animate the motion like this all throughout the clip and just loop this uh, this animation motion like so you can select the keyframes f9 ctrl c and ctrl v and copy it all throughout the clip okay so now what i'm going to do is go ahead and animate the eyes so i'll start with the eyes of this one um it's pretty simple actually so first I'll just put the anchor point uh, in the middle of its head. Now once that the anchor is at the middle of its head, you can select the, the scale option and just and uncheck this option right there. And what you can do is simply make a blinking motion by adding two keyframes like this. And at the first keyframe, you're going to have to put the value down until you don't see anything. So as you can see, it's doing something like that. It's not clean at all. So what we can do now is just make a little rotation. Okay, something like this. And at the first keyframe, I'm just going to make it. So it's... And if you want it to blink um, in different part of the of the animation, so what you're going to have to do is simply select all of these keyframes and you're going to have to copy them and pass them right there. And what you're going to do is simply select this this keyframe right there. I just go ahead and do that. Now do this for the whole entire clip. This and you'll have random moments where it blinks and where it doesn't blink. So it's it looks more. Now you and then I'm gonna do this for the rest of these stores and then I'm gonna go to the camera movement section. Okay so now I just finished the animation. As you can see it's it's smooth and I like it. So what I'm gonna do is simply click on Control A and then I'm going to just right click, pre-compose everything. And this will be our camera layer composition. So I'll start with a simple scale. And I'm just going to hide the graph. Uh, this is where if you want a little shake effect, what you can do is simply alt click the position. Go ahead and click on wiggle. I have some values and one like that. I right, yes, and it, as you can see, there's some black borders showing up right there. So what you can do is simply do a motion tile effect, this mirror edge, and then just, and yeah, that was it. That was pretty, that was pretty quick and easy to do. And if the tutorial was helpful, don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, what are the tutorials you want me to do? and uh, subscribe to my two channel leave a like and see you guys in another video